guys so in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what we need and the first video is very least interesting because in this video we're gonna see what we need in this course so thankfully there's only two things we need the first thing is a text editor and the second thing is a local web web server so you will get a local environment where you can write your code and run your code so the first thing I will say is Visual Studio Code is a wonderful text editor you can use in the and it's available in the market it's open source it's free and it can run everywhere so you can see it's, it shows it, it the website is code.visualstudio.com or even you can just uh, google it like visual studio code download and it will just pop up this page so if you go to the download section you can see there is this uh, it's available in windows linux and mac and you can go for any version you like and the second thing is the web server you can go to apachefriends.org or you can just write XAMPP dot downloads and it will give you to this page. It's available in multiple platforms like it's in Windows, it's in Linux, and it is even in OS X. You can just download any of these uh, depending on your requirements and it will just give you a web server. Web server is basically a package of your, like for example, here you can see Marine DB, PHP Perl, and it's a package which will uh, make a local testing zone for in your computer where you can write your code and you can make websites and you can see that uh, in Windows and Linux the downloads are straightforward but if you are in Mac OS then you can see that uh, there is uh, some packages called VM so you can I will advise that you can just go for this one 7.3.1 but if you like you can even go for VM versions but there's uh, installation is slightly different but if you feel if you like then you can just go there and you can just download them so there are some alternatives you can use like if you do not like visual studio code then you can even go for sublime text if you can go for brackets brackets.io it's for especially for web designers because it has live preview inline editors and preprocessor support and all the stuff and even you can use notepad plus plus as you know that sublime text has a lot of uh, features it has a lot of plugins and you can even install a lot of plugins from visual studio code in this and after that there are also alternatives for web servers like you can go for vam server that is vamserver.com and it's specially for windows so you can just go for 32 bit or 64 bit and it will install a lot of packages you can see here apache php mysql and all the stuff you will get both for the both versions after that i'm going to use the easy php web server you can go for the easyphp.org and it will just pop up with these features you can uh, go to this go through the site and you can see what it is so for this course i'm going to use easy php and sublime text and if you like you can go for any other text editor you like like you can go for the atom text editor or you can go for any other web server you like <laughs>